YouTube. How you doing, Earthlings? Well, you'll be glad to see we're back into space shuttle land. Let me see quickly what number we're up to. This is part 11 of my Airfix versus Revel space shuttle builds. As you can see, I've taken my big old sheet of transfers that was that size and I've made them look much less significant by just chopping them up and getting them into little sections. This is the uh, right hand side of the tail, left hand side of the tail, right hand side of the tail, along the wings, along the side of the fuselage where the cargo bay doors attach. These are along the Evalons on the wings. So there. So I want to try and do it in sections. I'm trying to work out what the best way is to do this. And I think looking at all the transfers it's probably not the way they'd prefer you to do it. Because look at this. I've got my nice nice satin uh, satin finished um, with 50-50 matte and gloss mod podge over this white I'm going to have to leave it like this now because most of this dodgy crap's going to be covered in transfers and black anyway so there's one little bit here I'm not happy with but I think that might be covered in transfers as well I'm not sure but we'll find out yeah, so, um, I don't quite know why they can't have a paint thing where they got, they just write the names of the paint where you're supposed to have the paint. Because I've, I've had to, unfortunately I've done it on the, um, the old version of the Space Shuttle, the older ones before 1998, where I was I'm actually doing the newer one. But I've had to write on here just for easy, ease of use. You know, the colours that you're actually supposed to use instead of all these different shades. So, um, what they're saying is that, um, well, you can see here, basically the top half of the black area is really, really black. And the underside is supposed to be this ultra-sight black. What do they call it? Ultra-sight black which is kind of my space shuttle grey that I've already got for the underside which is a bit of the uh, charcoal grey with some white mixed in it's um, basically this colour, let me just show you very quickly this colour that one Orthosite grey um, but on these much later, this much later last flight of the shuttle um, you're supposed to have these on um, sort of blue, grey, the carbon, carbon panels here, and this is supposed to be black. But on the the last Atlantis one, this has actually gone a nice light grey, and these have actually turned black. So it's actually the opposite of what they were. Um, so I'm going to have to do something with that. And uh, but it's going to be sort of a transition over to the lighter stuff here. But then even some of the some of these tiles have been replaced. So I'm going to have to look at that. Um, so this is going to be a sort of a, a light grey in, in the middle area. So I'm going to have to do the ultra-sight grey and then sort of spray some lighter grey in between. And you've got all sorts of flash marks where it's burnt more on other bits and piece, pieces. Um, so that's going to be the underside. This is going to be black with some little bits and pieces of flashy lighter grey and lighter grey tiles and darker tiles and all sorts of stuff. Bug gubbins going on there. So what I think I'm going to do, because apparently this nose one goes over here, I don't quite know how that one works or why it's there. Because um, when you look at the, let me just close that one down quickly, um, go back into my space shuttle build ones, at, in fact I've got the picture here. Yeah, when you look at this, this is a picture of the model, let me just see if I can, um, the nose of the model, can't actually see that black one around here at all. So I don't know what that's all about. 
and they've managed to do it with a nice little line going down the middle here. I don't want to have that. And they've got a gap in between the windows here. Um, the windows, these these bits here, are they actually um, on the transfer? There's there's nothing there. So underneath, I'm going to have to pay a paint paint a dark grey. I've decided my windows are going to be dark grey. They're going to be basically the same colour as um, where's the transfer? Yeah, this little this little dot here, which is what you're supposed to put in the window here once you've painted the under beside behind it behind it black and that little dot goes in just for the window so that's the entirety of the little porthole window that they have in the, the egress ingress escape hatch because um, it's all very very different on the final space shuttle where's where's that picture on Yeah, there's a picture of um, the final space shuttle launch with the someone, one of the, one of the ground crew who became unemployed after this day. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to try and work out that. So that's quite different to what they have there, but I'm not going to be bothering with trying to make a little gap in between the R and the E and farting about like that but um, yeah basically they're the ones for the nose these are the ones for the well that's not going to have that windows one here actually these are the ones for the aft section and the name tags and all that so it's not very many really it's quite daunting looking at that big sheet of space shuttle transfers and oh, that's for the nose as well where's that go? away from my useless mitts. Um, so yeah, all of these ones here are all spares. They're all spare ones that I'm not going to be using for anything. Uh, I'm not going to be using any, uh, any of the one, these ones for the boosters in the launch pad position. Because they're all going to be... I want to do this so that I'm going to have... I've got a possibility of having it so I can have the bit just taking off um, for, but for the time being it's just going to be on the launch pad so they have these um, these are the uh, star field sensors or something they have that one for the in flight but this one's for the on the, on the launch pad but I might use that one for my Columbia airfix and painting the middle bit I don't know quite yet uh, these black bits are not being used for the Atlantis, but I've got them here for the Columbia. Strangely enough, they're a different size than these ones. I've got a better US flag and better NASA decals for, for the Columbia. They'll come in, come in quite handy. And then also the other ones, I'm just going to pick you up and bring you over here quickly. And these are the ones for the booster boosters and fuel tank they're all nicely sort of separated out and then for over the back of the cargo bay doors I was thinking of using these ones that I had for the airfix and to make the differentiation between the you know make to put the lines in for each of these sections of the bay doors um, can you see that when I was pointing at it yeah um, so, um, so what I'm going to do first, I think, is apply these transfers. And then I'll know what I've got still to paint. Knowing me, this, this white's going to be completely different colour white to this one, so it's going to be really noticeable. Um, yeah, so I mean, another main reason of this is because, um, if you can see on this, the model, the, uh, yeah, the, 
Um, the Airfix, this is the, their main people that have come along and done a perfectly beautiful model, even though they've left some black here above the transfer, which isn't quite right. And the, the transfers, they were different sheen to the paint they have here and you can really notice it wherever it's all actually one bit so I'm going to be putting doing the nose section then covering it all in a satin varnish uh, mod podge and then on the sections where there's the matting as opposed to the tiles I'm going to be doing that in a more of a matte coat so, how long has this video gone on so far? I've been talking a lot. I'm not actually doing anything. To 11 minutes already. Wow. Mmm, lovely coffee. Coffee in the morning. So, oh, and by the way, I've also just done the white coat and Mod Podge satin on my Airfix one as well. It's really funny actually, you on this Air Revel one, they had these, all these port, these holes, these rectangular holes in this side, um, which I've really badly filled, I'll admit that. But they didn't have them on this side, but they've actually indicated that on the model that they've got them in here H but are they like that on the actual space shuttle let me just have a quick look Well, there's a side of the the pre-launch STS-135, and it hasn't got them on there. Let me have a look, see if I can find a picture of the side of STS-135, and see if I can see them on there, the other side of it. Come on, I want the other side of it, please. I just want one picture. Atlantis. I tell you what, there'll be loads of pictures here of that side of it. See, they're not on there either. This is um, just after the final mission and it's sitting in Kennedy Space Centre. So they're not on there either. So I don't know where all these where all these black rectangles come from. I really don't. But they're not going to be on my space shuttle. So, excellent. So I think I've got plenty enough picture footage to be able to well picture footage is not footage it's pictures picture plenty enough pictures to be able to get my Atlantis done as accurately as possible to how it is in the final before the final flight they spend like about a year getting the thing ready. It's quite amazing what they do, and replacing tiles and um, really, really good um, documentaries I've been watching about the final flight. I mean, on here alone, I've got three documentaries: the Last Shuttle, Our Journey, um, Atlantis Final Launch, Space Shuttle Atlantis Onboard Video. I've got probably 50 to 60 different videos of Space Shuttle, either long documentaries, and that's not including if it was if there's a thing that's broken up into five pieces. I've just include I've just called that one because it's one documentary, but it's just in five bits. Uh, and I've got some more. That I've got to find um, 
So yeah, 50 to see. I've actually counted 50, but I've got some more since then, so it's more. Even if it's just like a bird strike on the space shuttle as it's taking off or something for a few seconds, that, I'll count that as a video because it's interesting and it's a video about space shuttles. You want to go out, Daisy? So that's it, that's that, and I'm actually a bit scared to be honest about doing this. But, um, I don't know, I'm just doing my best, I suppose. I can even see me just turn my, do my best, I suppose. Hey, family Guy, Star Wars. Um, See my belly. I'm actually. I got this at the beginning of this year. It's May, end of May now almost. This arrived at the beginning of this year. I haven't been able to get rid of it. Although I am going for more of a fruit and veg regime at the moment, so I'm eating lots of processed stuff, which isn't good. I'm actually going to set foot in the gym today for the, only the second time in my adult life. I went one gym once, which is a council run one and I went for the induction course and they didn't go back again and so besides me being at school I've never ever been in a gym because I find them quite intimidating to be honest all the muscle Mary's about walking about and that but um, anyway so space shuttle transfers painting yeah I think I'm going to do the nose first I don't know or should I do the Ultrasite grey first. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'll have a think about it, but I'm not going to be thinking about it on this video. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, maybe I'll be covering my transfers and the painting of Columbia in the next one. But anyway, take care and goodbye. Ignore me then.